recognized for two minutes. I thank the distinguished chairwoman. Mr. Speaker, I rise to address the issue of health care reform. H.R. 3962, this bill, has been a century in the making. Teddy Roosevelt first called for comprehensive health care in the early 1900s. Some rush. A hundred years after that Republican's vision, T.R. has been vindicated. Americans need the reform he endeavored to achieve. Today's vote will mark an epic turning point for our country, for it enshrines national principles far more important than legislative pages. The principle of universal access and affordability, the principle of protection for American families against bankruptcy from the cost of catastrophic illness, the simple justice of shielding our children from the caprice and devastation of health care benefits denied because of a pre-existing medical condition. If we have common American values that include compassion and economic common sense, if we have some sense of commonwealth in which your need is also mine, if we can rise above partisan advantage and understand our responsibilities to our fellow countrymen here in this place, then we will seize this moment, this one transformative moment, to make America a better place. I will vote for this bill. I yield back.